So in today's video, we are going to make this scene inspired by the Mandalorian inside Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to explain everything, the whole process from start to finish. Before I start the video, a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. So thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Also, if you follow my videos, do post your renders on Instagram. So let's start with the video. So I just have a direction lamp and I have a skylight. So select the direction lamp and you can change that to movable. So this is basically your sunlight. You can also search for atmosphere and make sure that that is turned on. So this atmosphere setting will make sure that the sky atmosphere is working with the direction light. Next you can select the skylight and make sure that it's movable. We are setting our lighting objects to movable because we are going to use lumen. Turn on real time capture as well. So this will make sure that the skylight will update and capture the lighting in real time. After that, it's time to add a sky atmosphere. So here we have a basic sky atmosphere. And if you want to rotate this sunlight, you can press this shortcut and then you can move the mouse to like rotate the sun. So it's pretty handy. After that, let's add an exponential height fog in the scene. So I'm going to change the interscatting colors of this fog to black. Down here we have volumetric fog so you can turn that on as well. And if your fog object is not working properly, you can turn on this setting so go to the project settings. Search for fog and turn on this option. So support sky atmosphere affecting height fog will make sure that the fog picks up all the colors from your atmosphere. So that's why we set those uh, directional interscattering colors to black. After that, let's add a volumetric cloud object. After the clouds, let's create a landscape. So the landscape is basically your ground and uh, it's basically where you like place objects and place meshes to create an environment. So this will open up the landscape create panel here. And we are going to leave everything to the default option. So just create this landscape. So we have a landscape right here. It's looking pretty good. You can go back to the selection mode. And now it's time to add those Quixel Megascan assets. So you can add those Megascan assets. I've selected the Utah pack for this video. So just download that. Download that as well. I'm going to use this for the flow. And lastly, you can also download a ground material. So after those are downloaded and imported, select the landscape, go in the landscape material and just assign that material. So there we go. A ground material is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how to fix a very big issue. A lot of you commented on my videos and like told me about this. What happens is out of the box, Unreal changes your brightness constantly. And that can be an issue when you are creating like environments and when you want to uh, light something. So we need to turn off auto exposure. So just add a post process volume. Select the post process volume and just search for infinite extents and just turn that on. So this will make sure that the post process volume is applied to the whole level. After that, you can search for exposure and you can lock your minimum and maximum brightness values to a value of one. So this basically means that our brightness is not going to change throughout our level. So now it's time to create the environment itself. So before actually placing any assets in the level, we are going to define the camera angle. So you can go to the create panel and under the cinematic, you can add a cinematic camera actor. So this is a special type of camera used for cinematic purposes. You can select the camera, right click and snap that camera to the viewport. And for camera view, you can select that camera from there. So this is what the camera is seeing currently. So you can change the film back to 16 to 9 DSLR. Next, you can change the lens settings to 85 millimeters. And down here, you also have the focus settings. So once you have changed all of those settings, 
it's finally time to create an environment so you can go to the mega scans folder in the 3d assets and you'll find all of your 3d assets right here so in order to view all of these 3d assets at once you can turn on the static mesh filter and now simply you can just drag this asset into the level and start making your environment so this is like a big ridge asset and i'm placing it in the background this stage is all about experimentation So I'm adding these assets in the mid ground to create that depth and perspective. I also reduce the direction light intensity. So now we are going to add the Mandalorian model. So this model is created by this guy and I got this from Sketchfab actually. So you can just add this in the scene. So this is looking pretty good. So for the animation, you need to create a special type of object called a level sequence. So just create that and save that. After that, you will see a new panel open up called the sequencer panel. So the sequencer panel is used to animation. So animation will consist of two things, the camera and the walking animation. So first select the camera and drag it into this sequence. After that, select the Mandalorian model and just drag this into the sequence as well. So we have the camera and we have the skeletal mesh. Now just select the skeletal mesh and we need to assign an animation. So just assign the walking animation. And this is a looping animation. So like you can increase the length of this and it will loop. So you can play the animation. And as you can see, the Mandalorian is currently walking at one position. So he's currently static. So we need to animate the location as well. So to animate the location, you can add a location keyframe at frame zero. Go to the last frame, select the Mandalorian, change the transform to local transform and just move it in front. After that, you can add a location keyframe. So essentially we have animated the location of the skeletal mesh. So the environment looks good. The animation looks good. So it's time to render this out. So I've made advanced rendering videos on my channel. So if you want to watch those videos, I will leave those links down in the description. So in this video, I'm going to show you a very beginner friendly way to render this out. So to render this out, you can press that render button in the sequencer and that's going to open up the render settings panel. So in this panel, you define all the render settings. So you can render this out as a video file. You can render this out as a PNG sequence. You can change the frame rate. You can change the resolution. You can change the compression to hundred that will give you the maximum quality. Down in the animation, you can change the warm up frames to 32 and then you can change those two settings to one second. So once you're happy with all of these settings, you can press the capture movie button to render this out. So this is how easy it is to create something like this inside Unreal Engine 5. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Also, if you follow this video, don't forget to post your renders on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.